We haven't even started yet. So if you could light the match and then I'll take it from you. From our wedding. them and they go out. All right, now we can turn around. <laughs> Let's So welcome family and friends. We're so fortunate to be here today for the wedding ceremony of Tani and CJ. A ceremony that marks, confirms, and celebrates their union of husband and wife. The ceremony is based on the understanding that marriage is a friendship and of awakening to one another always forever. Also, that this friendship is based on four qualities and the uh, offerings that they'll make to their shrine symbolize those qualities. Me, in the sense of being free of arrogance and full of generosity. Therefore, it's represented by food, the first offering. The next is perky, which is being curious about one another and their world. And it's represented by a mirror that reflects the inquisitiveness, inquisitiveness of the world. The next offering is a conch that is a symbol of proclamation. For um, outrageous is free of concept, that they can soar and they can fly together without any fixed idea about who each other, um, who each other are. Then inscrutable is the last offering that will be made, symbolized by the victory banner, victory over aggression, not only to themselves, but to others. And it is the wisdom that arises from basic goodness. Then the last offering they'll make is the light, um, represented by a candle that they will light, that symbolizes the basic goodness of all. The shrine represents the lineage of people who have gone before us, all the people who have been married before, all the people who have come together for celebrations, people who have manifested their basic goodness. That's what the shrine represents. There will be um, um, smoke arising from the charcoal, and that's um, representative of purifying our environment. Not in the sense that it's impure, but 
arousing the goodness and the wakefulness of the environment and all of us here today. Inviting all of our awakened energy to this ceremony, to these really wonderful warriors. Okay, so we'll begin. In order to purify the ground of this marriage, I'll offer white billing incense, representing the basic goodness of all beings. In order to purify the ground of this marriage, I offer white billowing incense, representing the basic goodness of all beings. In order for us to travel on the path of Shambhala friendship in the awakening, we offer these images of four dignities. First, I offer this fruit, representing me, so that I may overcome selfishness, respecting the needs of others, and I will always conduct my marriage in friendship. With meekness and discipline, uh, perpetual aware of action, like a tiger, I will live with my life with care and courage. For the, this mirror, which represents Perky. I will always see life as an illusion, never becoming attached to my experience of the phenomenal world. With perkiness, looking, for the, uh, looking at the world through inquisitive eyes. Like a snow lion, I will keep joy of our, in our friendship. this conch, representing outrageousness. Since our friendship is genuine and good, continually soaring beyond a concept, I will never be bound to petty mind. With outrageousness, like their Garuda, I will carry along, uh, carry our song of our, of, of our union into the three worlds. Now I offer this victory banner, representing inscrutability. Since our mind and heart are complete perfection, perpetually expanding to others, I will, allow, uh, I will always allow space. With inscrutability, like the turquoise dragon, I will hold the jewel of our union, proclaiming it in a sublime friendship. I offer this light, representing Great Eastern Sun, the wisdom of all Shambhala. May it shine in the ten directions to bring joy and liberation to all beings.
now the vowels. Do you see Jay Taylor, Clyde Taylor, wholeheartedly take Tony Wells to be your companion, friend, and wife on this journey of life? I do. Do you, Tony Wells, wholeheartedly take Clyde Taylor to be your companion, friend, and husband on this journey of life? I do. May these rings bring to our union wisdom and skillful means. Now, now I drink, I drink this Samarita, the elixir, elixir of life, made it intoxicate my goodness, thus opening my heart to Chani, <laughs> so we may live, live together for the benefit of all beings. beings. <laughs> I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Clyde Taylor. Yay!